Why don't you ride yourself into Woodleaf for Trilogy? We'll see you there next year, 2007. Dun dun dun! Sarah's the only one who's very pointedly ignoring the camera. Oh, and Casey down there. Too. <laughs> Come on, Jenny, show us some love. Hey, Matt. Can you take off your shirt? Yeah, it's for the promo video. It'd be a nice addition. Well, I'm thinking we'll put all of this to like music and stuff. I'm not sure if that's legal or not, Doug. That is the sweetest new dance move I've ever seen. Check it out, guys. Everybody's doing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this hoop's even lower. Somebody behind us. Be careful. Turn around. I <laughs> I'm fine. Awesome. And, and where, what campus are you from? I'm What's from UNR. Okay, so you hail from Nevada or Nevada? Nevada. <laughs> you want to do Nevada? Nevada. What's wrong with Nevada? If you're from Nevada, you know not to pronounce it Nevada. They'll beat you up or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll be careful. Okay, Nevada. Okay, now you know all about Doc. Yes, I Doc do. Doc is something, there's something going on there. There's Can you a lot tell going us on what's Doc. going on there? Um, Doc is the kind of conference that really challenges you. Challenges you to live your faith out. 
and when I came to Doc, I kind of was in a kind of a dry spell. I didn't know exactly what to do. I kind of been a Christian for a couple years, and um, I felt like I could grow my fullest potential. And then Doc hit me. They it just bam. Yeah, it hit me, and yeah. like um, I didn't realize so many areas of my life that I needed to work on. Like, huh. who thinks about money in the terms of like oh, a biblical yeah. context? Yeah, yeah. And so that hit me hard. Um, evangelism is a huge deal. Yeah. And I was glad sure. to see that I wasn't the only one who was terrified yeah, yeah. and had like all these different monsters of, yeah, yeah. about uh, evangelism. So I think I came to Doc and I went back totally having a purpose huh. on being on my campus. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. so it totally affected your life back on yeah, the Reno campus. Yeah, I totally lived it out when I went home. And I was so glad that... Um, I had people that keep me accountable right after Doc that were with me that experienced yeah. things at Doc. Um, and then we came back home and we like came up with a purpose and like almost a strategy about how to hit the campus Oh really? Afterwards. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So you heard it right here. That's what happens at Doc. You guys want to... Hey Doug, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Good. And you're from the Reno campus. Yes sir. And uh, you just started going to some Bible studies this year. Is that right? Yes. Uh, how did you get into that? Um, I was pretty much in my lounge and just yeah. playing pool and my uh, Bible study leaders, Amy and Lauren, introduced yeah. themselves and asked if they wanted to come play a game called Apples to Apples with them. Uh -huh. you know, I was only there for about 10 minutes, ended up winning, but you know, I decided to come back next week and yeah. see what it's all about and I just haven't stopped going since. Yeah, and so you were... At there and you didn't know much about God at that time and you were just jumped right into it and then you're here at Doc like about a month and a half later just all, all the way in it and Doc was pretty big for you what what kind of experience did you have here? Um, basically from what all the sessions have taught me uh, based on you know following the rules uh, community interests and you know, just putting 100% faith in Jesus, I mean, it has all touched me so much, and it was a big step for me, and this is where I decided to convert into Christianity. Wow, so this, this was huge. This was a big step for me. Yeah, you were actually in a workshop about how to share the gospel, and then you turned to your buddy who was next to you, and what, what did you tell them? I told them, you know, I'm ready to take the next step in my faith and I'm ready to convert into Christianity. I'm ready to put my life in Jesus' hands before wow. he knows how to handle it well. That's crazy. So right in the middle of the session, you went through all of that. Yes. <laughs> that was huge. Great. Well, thank you very much, Doug. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, so Ross was in Doc. Yes, sir, I was. And you're now a disciple. You're like full fledged. Tell tell us about it. What is what is that about? What's it about? Yeah. Um, really fired up. Uh, I learned this uh, weekend that uh, I need to quit being like afraid. I need to take risks. Go out and spread the word of God because as people is uh, eternal life we're messing with. You know. Gotta get out there and spread the word. I really shouldn't worry about me because I got God on my back. Yeah, yeah. Protect me. Yeah, he's right here. All right, he's there, brother. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So that's Ross. What conference did you go to in I Trilogy? Went, I went to Doc. Doc. And so uh, we want to know, like, how how is God moving in Doc? What's going on there? Doc is a really, really cool experience. It's definitely life-changing. Huh. You get to learn all about what Jesus is doing in your life and all the stuff that you're doing that is kind of leading you away from God and how huh. you should get that away from you yeah. and um, how to go out and get people into the Word of God. Yeah. It's definitely cool. So do you feel like you're going back as a different person? Um, I think I'm changing as a person. Huh. I don't know if I'm going back. Yeah. Um, I think I'm moving forward as a person. Oh, okay. That sounds great. So thank you very much. No That's a dorks out. Come to Willie. Trilogy 2007. Yeehaw. <laughs> Trilogy 2007. Bring your horses.